Popular Islamic cleric Mox Buhari hails Kasina resident for stoning President's convoy. Can you imagine? So when uh, Buhari went to Kasina State to commission some projects for official trip, um, they stoned him. And one of the Islamic clerics is hailing the people of Kasina State for doing that. Hmm, that must be serious. What are his reasons? Let's see. A Sokoto-based Islamic cleric Belu Yabo also likened the attack on the convoy of President Muhammad Ubari in Kasnas to the stoning of the Satan. The stoning of the, of the devil or Satan is one of the Islamic Hajj pilgrimages rituals in the holy city of Mecca in Saudi Arabia, where pebbles are thrown at three walls called Jamarat. Hmm. It was reported that on Wednesday, some angry residents of Casina came out to protest what they described as untold hardships method on Nigeria by the Buhari administration. This is serious. The protest reportedly lit bonfires and threw pebbles and other items at the presidential motorcade. Reacting to the incident during his preaching session on Friday, uh, Mr. Yabo said that the action depicted the anger and frustration of many Nigerians. You have heard how Kasina people stoned the Satan yesterday. May Allah bless Kasina people. I was filled with joy last night. Any preacher who fought them should go and correct the problems created by the administration. <laughs> that is own. That's correct. So any preacher who fought the people that stoned the president's convoy should go and correct his, uh, the problem that had been created by this uh, administration as well because people are already in an untold hardship. Hmm. So they like it last stoning to, to the Jamarat ritual that is conducted in Mecca all right, during pilgrimage where they stone a wall in, in, the, in the guise of stoning a devil. Hmm. This is how they should be treated wherever they go, all right? This is how they will realize they wronged the people. True to their slogan, Kasina people have shown that they are only shy but fearless. And they have shown that yesterday. May God bless them. Now, wow. They booed him as a thief and stoned him like the Satan. This is how people should revolt against their oppressors. Until we act this way, they will never regard us. This is serious. Okay? So if everybody can actually come out and be, and be you know, be protesting against bad governance and protesting against their own people from their own region, that would be great. Everybody will learn a lesson. What happened to him, Buhari, is a clear example of change from grace to grass. Remember this is a man for whom many people were killed. But now look at how he is being embarrassed and pelted with stones in his own state like the Satan. I am happy that, he's, that this happened in Casina. Otherwise, it would have been given a different interpretation, the cleric said. Mr. Yabo, who said a lot of people would lose their legitimate income as a result of the Central Bank of Nigeria's policy to redesign the Naira also faulted human rights groups for not uh, raising their voices to condemn the CBN action. Where are the human rights organizations? Or is this not an abuse of citizens' rights? How many people will lose their legitimate and hard-earned money as a result of this policy? But the good news is that people have begun to stand up for themselves, he added. Wow. So, so people are also seeing, uh, the Northerners are also feeling oppressed by this government. Because the truth is that the genuine houses have been dominated by the Fulanese. The Fulanese are everywhere, taking over their land, ruling them, determining for them, detecting for them, and oppressing them, intimidating them over the years. And right now, the, the genuine houses don't know where to put their head. All right. So, but uh, what is happening is that very soon they will start speaking out, they will start fighting for their right, fighting for their freedom, and getting off the hook of the Fulanese rule over them. Hmm. 
So if God, the president was stoned in his own state by some people, why were they not arrested? Just like uh, Mr. Uh, Yabo, Bello Yabo said, if this had happened in another state, DSS would go there and arrest everybody. Now it has happened in Casina and DSS had not gone there to do any operation. If it has happened in the southeast, southwest or south-south, DSS will enter town. In fact, they would have killed a lot of people and arrested a lot of people. And people will still justify it. Meanwhile, those people who are just protesting, uh, which is part of their civic right to protest, if they have reason to do so. Now, it has happened in Casino State. We have not heard of any arrest. We have not heard of any prosecution. We have not heard of any shooting, killing or injury. And, uh, and they just come in here. Rather, one of them is hailing it. Okay, if somebody from the south had hailed this activity now, the DSS would go and arrest him as well. These people are very, very nepotistic. I'm telling you, very tribalistic. They are religious bigots. It's quite unfortunate. These are religious bigots. Very serious religious bigots. So, so this has happened in the, in the president's own state and uh, they put it in the cooler like nothing has happened. So we've got a few comments here. Uh, let's see what some people have to say about this incident in Casino State during uh, Buhari's visit. The devil is stubborn. He still refuses to move out of Kaaba after years of stoning. Maybe Muslims need uh, to borrow nuclear bomb from Pakistan to bomb the devil out of Kaaba. Can you imagine? <laughs> Somebody is trying to mock them here now. They've been studying the devil and the devil has left, has not has, has refused to leave. You made a very grave blunder and terrible mistake. Who told you devils are residing in the Kaaba? You are ignorant of your notion. Can you imagine? Instead of them to talk the main issue, they are now attacking themselves. Okay? I've always maintained that tribe and religion in strict sense are not our problem in this country. But we allow the politicians to use this to divide us, okay? Well spoken, my good brother. This coming election is not about ethnic or religion issues, but it's about good governance for our people in this country. Yes, and that's why I must vote somebody with credibility. Don't mind the one uh, still foolish that he will not vote Peter B. You will be next victim to be kidnapped so that your people will know who to vote all right do not vote on the basis of religion and ethnicity vote the right candidates that's true can nigeria do that sure and our problems will be over nigerians not all nigerians will do it because a lot of nigerians are following article because of money following tinubu because of money okay it's only people that are following peter b that are genuinely following him because they are not asking for money and they're not even getting the money i love that I move a motion that all present APC governors, ministers, candidates be stoned henceforth wherever they are seen. It will be on point, my fellow Nigerian. So people are happy that that happened. Can you imagine? People are very, very happy that it happened in, in Kashina State against Buhari. So that was what happened and a cleric, Bello Yabo, uh, uh, an Islamic cleric from, from Sukoto State, uh, during his sermon, um, appreciated and healed the people of Casina for stoning Buhari's convoy. So thank you for listening and let's have your comment.